Hey, good evening, everyone, from Lighthouse Baptist Church. This is uh, Pastor Gary Cox. Thank you for tuning in and being a part of our Sunday night broadcast. We appreciate you tuning in and being a part of our service. Um, our senior pastor is uh, Pastor Clint Neiford. Uh, we thank God for him. Thank God for the man of God he is. Thank God for the uh, stand he takes for the Lord. And uh, we'd like to give you a personal invitation out to our church. We're located in Millenport, North Carolina. Um, and uh, we'd like to give you an invitation to our church. We have Sunday school at 10. We have morning worship at 11. And then we have Wednesday night service at 7 o'clock, adult Bible study. And then we have the youth at 7 also and King's Kids at 7. And we'd like for you to come out and be a part of our service uh, on those times. Uh, maybe you're new in the area and uh, we want you to come out and be a part of our service at Lighthouse Baptist Church, and we know that uh, you'll be truly, truly blessed. Amen. We thank the Lord for what God is doing and moving in our midst, and um, we just thank God for that very, very exciting time to serve the Lord uh, in these times, and I really believe that we're living in the last days. Amen. I really believe that. I, I know for a certainty the Word of God assures us that Jesus is coming again. Amen. The Bible says we know not the day nor the hour wherein he comes, but Jesus is coming. That's the next great big event on God's calendar, amen, is the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. I appreciate you for tuning in and being a part of this uh, service. Now, you, I'd like for you to share the, the video uh, with your friends, and uh, we just uh, want to lift up our shut-ins uh, tonight. Uh, those that are not able to come out and worship with us at this time, we want to uh, dedicate this broadcast to them and uh, let them know that we miss you and um, we're praying for you and uh, you are on our hearts and on our thoughts and in our prayers. Amen. Well, I want to read a passage of Scripture to you tonight in, uh, in Romans uh, chapter uh, 7 and um, uh, just a few passages of Scripture uh, that the Lord has put on my heart. Um, and we know that uh, here Paul was, um, uh, was here in Rome and um, he was uh, speaking to the Jews here. Um, and then um, Romans chapter 7 and verse 15, uh, Paul says, For that which I do, I allow not. Uh, for what I would, that do I not. But what I hate, that I do. Amen. And we're going to read a couple more passages of Scripture, but let's go to the Lord in prayer and uh, let's uh, ask Him to bless the reading of His Word. Amen. Lord, we thank You and we praise You for what You're doing in these times, Father. Thank You for uh, loving us. Thank You for our salvation. Thank You for our grace, for Your grace. Lord, we know that, <clears throat> Lord, Your grace is sufficient for us in every need, in every area of our life. Father, we thank You for that. And, Lord, I pray tonight as we open up the Word that, Lord, would you give us power and would you, would you give us unction from above. Father, forgive us of our sins and, Lord, cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And I pray that, Lord, we could just be a blessing uh, to others, uh, to you. But most of all, we want, to be a, uh, we want to be pleasing to you in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm reminded of a passage of Scripture um, in uh, Ephesians chapter 6. And uh, verse 12, I believe it is, Paul says that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and uh, powers, against rulers uh, of darkness in high places. Let me say that the God of this world, um, the Bible says that he, he's ruling the heirs of this world. And the Bible says he's as a roaring lion. He's walking to and fro, and he's, uh, uh, he's deceiving many. Amen. But here we see in Romans uh, chapter 7 and verse 15, Paul said here that uh, he was relating back uh, probably before the Damascus uh, uh, journey uh, when he had an encounter with, uh, with God here. But he says, For that which I do, um, I allow not. And for what I would, that I do not, but I hate, that, I, uh, that do I. So basically, Paul, what Paul was saying, he said, the things that I should do for God, those things that are uh, good and those things that are pleasing to God, he said, I have a struggle that I don't do those things all the time. And he says, I also have a struggle to do the things uh, to do not, the things that I should not do. Amen. So 
we have to realize that there's a constant war um, and there's a, a constant battle uh, in, a, in, pe in Christians' lives today, especially to a believer that has uh, been born again and has been uh, covered by the blood of Jesus. There's a old nature and a new nature. Amen. But I'm so thankful that God has given us power through the Holy Spirit that we can overcome the old nature and we can please God. We can do those things that please God. But notice what Paul said here in verse 16 of Romans 7. He said, If then I do that which I would not, I consent unto the law uh, that it is good. And then it is no more that I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. Let me say uh, to a child of God that we must uh, take care of our unconfessed sins daily. Amen. Um, there's n none of us will live a perfect and sinless life. Amen. Only one did that, and that was the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. But I believe we should strive for perfection. We should strive uh, to live godly and to live uh, like Christ. Amen. Uh, Christ set an example for us. But here, uh, Paul was saying that uh, there was a constant war. But notice what he says here in Romans 7 and verse 18. He says, For I know that in me, uh, that is, in my flesh, dwelleth no good thing. For to will is uh, present with me, but how to perform it, that which um, is good, I find not. That's the, con that's the struggle right there that many Christians have. Amen. Uh, in their Christian walk. Uh, they, they have a struggle uh, to do the things um, that are is pleasing to Christ. But I'm so thankful that God has gave us the Holy Spirit. Amen. In Romans chapter 8, uh, to a believer, we have received the Holy Spirit and we have a an helper. Amen. And uh, we have an unction uh, from the Holy One and that's the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the Holy Spirit can and will uh, help us to live a godly life. But notice what Paul said in verse 19. He says, For the good that I would, I do not. But the evil uh, which I would not, that I do. So there's, a, there's the uh, constant battle that Paul had. Now, is that a constant battle in your life and in my life? Certainly it is. That's the, that's the battle uh, between the flesh and the spirit. Amen. The spirit is seeking the things after God, but the flesh is, uh, is desiring the things that are not of God. Amen. Um, so um, to a believer, um, we have to be uh, in total submissive control to the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will lead and guide and direct us into all truths. Amen. And we've been studying about the Holy Spirit. I wanted to uh, bring these scriptures out tonight because... Um, we we do have uh, power to overcome the pull and the, from the uh, constant uh, pull and uh, things of uh, things of the world uh, because we have the Holy Spirit. We're more than conquerors through Him that loved us. Amen. We're more than conquerors. But notice uh, Paul says now in verse twenty. He says now if I do um, uh, now if I do that I would not. It is no more that I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. I find then a law that when I would do good, evil is present with me. For I delight in the law of God and after the inward man. Let me say that, friends, Paul said in Galatians 2.20, he says, I'm crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And friends, we must crucify the flesh daily because if we don't um, and, and put God first, we will wander out in the world and we will do things that is not pleasing to God. Amen. But let me say that we have power. A believer has power because the Holy Spirit has came in um, and is, and, and is um, a, a great help for us as a believer. But notice uh, Paul says uh, when, he, when he does those things that is not good, uh, he said it's not me, but it's the sin that liveth in me. Amen. Can sin control a Christian's life? Certainly they can. Amen. Certainly sin can. Amen. But the, the, the great thing is 
that you and I, we have power to overcome the flesh, amen? Because greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. And I, and I think as we read that scripture in Galatians, uh, in Ephesians chapter 6, um, he said, uh, Paul said, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers. But I'm so thankful that what has God did for us as a believer? God has equipped us, and he's gave us armor, has he not? The Bible says that the, he, he told um, the Ephesus church, he said, Put on the whole armor of God that you may uh, be able to withstand all the fiery darts from the wicked one. Friends, we are no match uh, to Satan, but through God we are. Amen. Greater is he that is in us than he that's in the world. So, you know, um, as long as we live, as long as we're on this side of eternity, amen, as long as we're on this side of the grave, we will struggle to do things that are good and not to do the things that are evil. We will struggle, amen. But I'm so thankful to a child of God that you and I, we have a helper, amen, um, and and that is the Lord Jesus Christ, amen, and uh, and we have power over the flesh. We have power over the draw of the world and what the world would uh, would draw us into, amen. Uh, which you know is is no good, amen. Uh, sin, uh, you know, God said, have no part of it, amen. And I believe to a believer, amen that we should try to live holy. The Bible tells us in Romans chapter 12 and verse 1 uh, to, present, to present our bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is our reasonable service. Amen. Did you know that a child of God, we are not our own. Amen. But how many of you know that we're bought with a price? Amen. We're bought with a price, with the precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's, that's how we can see uh, a person come to Christ and they can overcome drugs, they can overcome addiction, uh, they can overcome uh, the pull of this world and sin uh, because, friends, the power of salvation um, is, is powerful and it's great. Amen. Um, Paul said in uh, 2 Corinthians 5, 17 that we become a new creature in Christ Jesus. He said, old things will pass away. Behold, all things become new. Well, I appreciate you tuning in and listening to us um, this afternoon. And I wanted to share those scriptures with you. And uh, I trust it'll be a real blessing to you. But remember, uh, the Word of God, this right here, this is our, uh, this is our weapon. Amen. Uh, put on uh, the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Uh, put on the breastplate of righteousness, the helmet of salvation. Uh, Paul mentioned that the, the weapons of our warfare, they're not carnal, but they're mighty through God, pulling down the strongholds um, that Satan would throw against a believer. Amen. I'm so thankful for that. Thank God. Uh, greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world uh, through salvation. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, Lord, we thank you. And Lord, we praise you that, Lord, there's power uh, in the blood of Jesus. Thank you for salvation that, Lord, you have changed us. And, Lord, you have redirected our lives, Father. And we're not our own, but we're bought with a price. And, Lord, you said for us, therefore, to glorify God. And, Lord, that's what we want to do tonight, Father. We just want to glorify you and just magnify you. Lord, uh, we know that, Lord, anywhere we may be, that, Lord, we can serve you. And, Lord, um, uh, we can uh, witness and tell people about the great love that you had for us. And, and Lord, I thank you uh, for the beauty, uh, Lord, of salvation. Thank you for the presence of the Holy Spirit that lives within us. That, Lord, that when we're tempted to do evil, that the Holy Spirit will draw us, uh, Lord, under conviction of those things. And, Lord, that we can overcome that, uh, not through our own power, but through the power of the Holy Spirit. And I thank you for that. And, Lord, we love you, and I pray that you would just uh, use this message, and, Lord, reach it out over the airways, and I pray, God, that hearts would be touched. And, Lord, most of all, Lord, we want you to be pleased in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you, and appreciate you tuning in and being a part of our service tonight. God bless you.